All right, it is now time for our American Hotel Liquidators Tennessee post game report. We're going to hear from head coach Butch Jones of the Vols looking back on the victory over Bowling Green on Saturday and looking ahead a little bit to this Saturday showdown in Knoxville with the Oklahoma Sooners. Enjoy. Okay, it's good to see everyone on uh, Labor Day, so happy Monday. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to say congratulations to our soccer and volleyball teams for their undefeated weekends, and Coach Penske and Coach Patrick are doing a great job, and it just adds to, to being one Tennessee and uh, excited for them. Uh, good start. Obviously needed to be 1-0. and We're 1-0. and uh, however, watching the video, we need to take great strides in moving forward uh, from game one to game two. As we speak about all the time, uh, there needs to be significant improvement from week one to week two, and that's usually what good teams do. Now, obviously, the quality of opponent, a uh, great opponent coming in here will be a challenge in and of itself. Uh, the things I did like from the game, zero turnovers, especially in a first game. Uh, that's a very, very positive thing. I thought our players did a very good job of taking care of the football. In terms of situational football, I thought we did a very good job on both sides of the ball with third down. And then our special teams performance uh, sparked by very, very big return uh, returns that created short field uh, for our offense on a number of scoring drives, our red zone efficiency. Uh, you know, I thought uh, we did a very good job with that. But, you know, when you look at the significance of first games, as we said, first games are the game of the unknowns, not only from your opponent, but from yourself. Uh, know a little bit more as here's where we're at, here are the things we did well, and here are our deficiencies, and here are the things we need to work in to correct and improve immediately and work to get better. And it's every player uh, taking ownership with pride in their performance and consistency in their performance and having the mindset beginning today that we're going to improve and we're going to become better. Uh, the things I, I didn't think we sustained uh, very well in terms of sust sustaining blocks at all levels, uh, sustaining getting off blocks at the junction point, and those are things we need to do a better job of. Uh, our style of play needs to take uh, needs to take significant growth and steps in moving forward with just what we come our standard our expectations was not particularly pleased with that. When we talk about each team being different. And I think everybody needs to, to realize that, that, you know, that w one of the major differences going from team to team to team is really the roles of players. Uh, roles are starting to be defined on team 119, but that's why two teams are never the same. You're playing young players that have never played before, and then you take another component where maybe on last year's team, an individual was a role player. And now all of a sudden their role on team 119 changes. They're more a little bit more of an every down player now. So not only are they just a, we're a role player on special teams, but now they're playing significant uh, playing time, have significant playing time on offense, defense, coupled with special teams as well. And that's a, that's a situation that's different in and of itself. So for these young players and for these players taking on new roles, every situation is a new situation. There's no baseline level of play. They're creating that best line uh, style of play or they're creating that on every single rep and they have to we have to aggressively pursue that baseline style of play that baseline level so every trip out of the tunnel is a new experience there's so much to learn from game to game from down to down and we must learn from those lessons and we must apply those each and every week and again we have a number of players who were role players that now become every down players on this year's football team and how do you handle that and what you did last year to prepare is not good enough it has to be that much better how are you elevating your game how are you elevating your style of play how are you elevating uh, your performance how do you elevate uh, the work that goes in in your preparation in your consistency all that goes into it and our players understand uh, we need to make significant growth and development and moving forward but I did think there was a lot of positive things as well now we all also understand that the the 
the team that we're about to face here in, in less than a week, uh, I believe, is a top five football team. They're a top five football program. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Bob. I think he illustrates the difference between building a team and building a program. Uh, his administration, his fan base has stayed with him uh, through trials and tribulations, and they've developed one of the best programs in all of college football. Uh, and they're a great football team. I think they're one of the most underrated football teams uh, in the country and you can tell that they have a quiet confidence about themselves and uh, they're very very skilled they're physical they're tough and they're a complete football team in all three phases so it's going to take anything and everything that we have to be able to compete with them on Saturday so I'll answer any questions you may have Coach, what uh, kind of review what you saw in Coleman Thomas that you felt like he was your best option at center and how did he grade? Well, Coleman is an individual who's continued to progress and get better and better and center is his natural position. Uh, his athletic ability of being able to pull and get out on the edge and whether it was blocking a corner or a linebacker, uh, he had the point of attack block for two of our touchdowns. He was directly responsible. I thought he managed the game in terms of calling out the fronts, uh, getting us in the right blocking schemes. Uh, he's very athletic and he has some size. So uh, for him making his first career start at center, we thought he played very well. John. Butch, along the rest of the offensive line, how did that evaluate and will you continue to uh, urge competition there? Everything is about competition and as we've come to know in the world of coaching, when you put the video on, it's never as bad as it seems and it's never as good as it seems. And uh, we have to take monumental growth up front in sustaining blocks, blocking at the second level, just our overall level of communication with all five. Uh, but that's at every single position, and those are the nuances, you know, playing in a first game. But we'll continue to, to you know, compete. And it's like I told our football team this morning is, you know, football is a humbling game. And when you think you've arrived, uh, you can be humbled in a hurry. And you have to earn your job. You have to earn your spot. You have to earn your reputation every single day that you play football. What you did last year has absolutely no bearing on this year. It's all about creating an identity. And we started to create our identity. And are we pleased with that identity? If not, we need to change it. We need to continue to progress and move forward. But that's what makes football special. That's what makes football different. It's a physical game. And you have to work and you have to create your identity each and every week. But do you expect uh, Todd Kelly to be healthy enough to start on Saturday? Do you I think, do. Do you think I, when he came in uh, against Bowling Green that the secondary kind of settled down when he was in there? Todd brings a, a calming effect. It's just like Brian Randolph. Brian Randolph puts his time in. You know, he's one of those individuals who has a baseline level of performance. He can make checks. He gets us in the right calls. He, he's a problem solver. TK is that exact same way. You could see the defense kind of, you know, Relax, not relax, but have a, a calmness about themselves when, when TK entered the game because he works at it. It's important to him. He understands the nature of the safety position and what it means from a communicative aspect. But he's 100%, uh, and we expect him to be ready to go against Oklahoma. Steve. 